Good morning from sea day number one. We had a lion which was so needed so I don't think we got up until about, what time did we get up? About half past nine I think so nice casual sea day so we've missed breakfast which is fine because we're not particularly hungry. So bright in here. The beautiful view. Um, so we've got red day, no makeup, hair scraped back because we are off to the hydro suite for a couple of hours. Um, Azura has does have a hydro suite but she does not have the hydro pool. Um, so she has the hot beds, steam room, saunas, etc. Just not and the showers, just not the pool. Which is fine, we're gonna try it out. She does have an adults only pool, so if I'm brave enough I will take a dip, but it is quite a cold pool I think from memory. So yeah we're gonna go to the spa for a couple of hours and then I think we're just gonna head up on deck because it's nice weather so we will take you along and show you what a sea day looks like. You sign in for the hydro room at the Oasis Spa reception and they give you a key card for the room. You have the room for two hours or up to two hours. First up, as you come into the hydro area, you have the aromatic room. This was compact, but as we were the only two in there at the time, it suited us nicely. It is one of the rooms I really like whilst in a spa. As you come around the corner, there is a walk-in rain shower. And next up, there is a steam room with plenty of seating. Across the other side of the room, you have another sauna. This is a really good size with plenty of seating and some sort of lounge style seating. And there is another shower as well with the rainforest head. They have a water fountain and a really good tip is to bring a reusable water bottle with you so you can use it whilst in the area. And they also have an accessible shower with rails and a seat. The main part of the room is spacious and there is, I think, five hot beds. So we really enjoyed it. As I said, we were just on our own. Um, there is also plenty of towels on both sides of the room and also some slippers and bathrobes for you to use whilst you're in the room. Good afternoon. I have been having a little nap in the cabin and we've been watching some films. So we watched Moana and Aladdin. Um, they're included on the TV in the cabin, so that's really good. But yeah, I think I've been a bit dehydrated today, so snooze. Um, and it's like we're gonna go and have a late lunch upstairs. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm going to do a burger um, because they're not, they were really good last time. So, hair up in a bun. Um, and then, yeah, let's go and see what the top deck's looking like. So. The song title for every song we play for you. So you will get a score out of 40. One point for the song title, one point for the artist on every song we play for you. So it'll be out of 40. Good evening. I'm ready for celebration night. Um, it is just before six, so the captain is doing an address. It's getting a bit dark. The captain is doing an address at six o'clock. So we're going to go to the captain's address and to dinner. So let's go and see what the captain's sort of celebration night is like. Good evening. Atlantic in March. Someone just collared me in the lift and said, oh, it was rough this morning. <laughs> Be it yourselves. However, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome on board the wonderful Azura. It's my pleasure to take you on holiday. Right, where are we going? Um, oh, I haven't decided yet. Um, I thought we might live down to the Caribbean. Yes. You're going to have to pay me a little bit more than you did this time if that's where you want to go. So where are we going? I'll tell you where we're going. We're heading up to our first port. We're giving you a nice day at sea today. What's our first port of call? Madeira. Is it? <laughs> oh yes, yeah, yeah. Madeira, of course it is. 
So we're heading up to Fun Madeira. We'll be arriving into Funchal tomorrow morning. Big German ship going in ahead of us, the Aida Nova. She'll want to go in first. She's the sister ship to the uh, Arvia and the Iona. Big thing. Uh, she will be going in ahead of us, not least of which she's put her towel on the berth before me. So. <laughs> Don't get me started on some meds. However, so she will be going in, we will follow her in, we will then birth in a lovely fun channel. It is beautiful. If you've never been there before, it's a stunning island and it's so stunning. What we're going to do is we're going to stay late tomorrow night to give you the opportunity to sample it by day and sample it by evening. So we will leave at 2200, 10 o'clock tomorrow night. And that will give you the opportunity to get off and sample the delights of Fun Child, particularly uh, by night, and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. So we'll give you a lovely day in Fun Child Madeira, we'll then give you another day at sea to catch your breath as we head back down to Ilos Dos Canarias, the Canary Islands. What's the first island you'd like to do? Someone has me checked. Someone did ask me today, what, what islands are we doing this, this cruise captain? Like they hadn't even checked when they booked it. No. We'll take you down to Gran Canaria, of course we will. So we'll take you into Gran Canaria. Weather's looking tomorrow a little bit cloudy, but uh, 18 degrees centigrade, and hopefully we will get the sunshine, which is significantly warmer than it is in uh, uh, the UK at the moment, which I'm sure many of you are only too aware. So 18 degrees relatively is very good weather. Uh, as we head down to the Canaries, it is brightening up down in the Canaries, so we are expecting sunshine in Grand Canaria, uh, 22, 23 degrees centigrade for our call there, is the current forecast. And again, we'll give you a late sail from Grand Canaria as well. So we will sail from Grand Canaria at 10 o'clock in the evening, so giving you a full day and an evening there. We'll then head over to Lanzarote, so we'll give you a call into Lanzarote. Look day in Lanzarote, uh, some more nice weather before heading back to our temporary home port, which of course is Tenerife, but that's over a week ago, just a week away. So, wonderful ports, wonderful itinerary, lots of wonderful food, wonderful drink, wonderful entertainment between now and then. Right, some statistics for you. Pretty full at the moment, 2,670 of you, we have 1,129 crew. Welcome aboard, have a wonderful evening. After Neil's speech and a glass of fears, we decided to have room service instead of going to Sydney, so we rearranged it for later in the cruise. 